Hello, my name is Robert Jamerson, and today I will be doing three monologues for you. The first will be from William Shakespeare's The Tempest, the second will be from Titus Andronicus, and the third will be from The Rebirth. I will also be reading for the role of Bernard in Death of a Salesman. Thank you. Admired Miranda. Ah, indeed, the top of admiration. Worth would steer us to the world. For several virtues have I liked several women. Never any with so full soul, but some defect in her did quarrel with the noblest grace she owed and put it to the foil. But you, yeah, you, you're perfect. And you're so peerless. You are created of every creature's best. Okay, okay, hear my soul speak. The very instant I saw you, my heart flew to your surface. There resides it to make me slave to it. And here am I, your patient log man. <laughs> I beyond all limit of what else if the world do love, prize, and honor you. Huh. I, that I had not done a thousand more. Even now, I. I curse the day, and yet I think few come within the compass of my curse. Wherein I did not some notorious ill as kill a man, or else devise his death. Ravish a maid, or plot the way to do it. Accuse some innocent, and forswear myself. Set fire on barns and haystacks in the night, and bid the owners quench them with their tears. Oft have I digged up dead men from their graves and set them upright at their dear friends' doors, even when their sorrows almost was forgot, and on their skins, as on the barks of trees have with my knife carved in Roman letters. Let not thy sorrow die, though I am dead. Tut, I am done a thousand dreadful things as willingly as one would kill a fly, and nothing grieves me heartily indeed, but that I cannot do ten thousand more. I, I, I mean, I, I don't understand how you found her, because I've been searching her own son for like three years now. <laughs> oh, that's it. That's it, isn't it? You with the government, aren't you? No, you gotta be because nobody could have found my mom faster than me, her own son. I mean, <laughs> bruh, it's, it's that easy. It's that easy. Why can't you just do it for everybody else? Why can't you just earn those tax dollars we keep handing you on a silver platter? I mean, do you even realize how many kids are searching desperately for their birth parents? Some never find them. I was afraid that I... I mean, where is she? Is... is she... <sighs> you know, they, they took me away right after I was born. I think that's unfair, don't you think? I mean, they just, they just, just took me. Just took me right out of my mom's arms. I, sh I should have been held by my mom. I should have been up against my mom's bosom. Like, I, I, I needed to hear her heartbeat, man. I needed to hear that thing that I've been hearing for the past nine months in that, that, that safe, in that quiet place. And they just took it. You know, that, and people always tell me, always tell me, be a man. I'm so tired of being a man. I literally just want to be a human being. It affects your whole life, those first few moments out here in the open, and they took it. They took it from me, man. Should have been held by my mom. I, I needed to, needed to know that this place out here was just as safe, too. I needed to know that. I deserved to know that. needed to hear my mom's heartbeat, man. Oh, hello, Uncle Willie. Bernard, well, look who's here. Oh, how are you? Good to see you. 
What are you doing here? I just stopped by to see Pop get off my feet until my train leaves. Um, I, I'm, going, I'm going to Washington in a few minutes. Is he in? Yes, he's, he's in with his accountant, but please sit down, sit down. What are you going to do in Washington? It's just a case I've got there, Willie. That's so. Mm -hmm. You going to play tennis there? Ah, well, uh, I'm staying with a friend who has a court. Don't say. Yeah. He's on tennis court. Must be fine people, I bet. Oh, yeah, they're very nice people. But Dad tells me that Biff's in town. Yeah, Biff's in. Working on a very big deal, Bernard. Well, what's Biff doing? Well, he's been doing very big things in the West, but he decided to establish himself here. Uh, very big. Yeah. Did I hear your wife had a boy? Oh, yeah, that's right. Our, our second. Two boys. Mm -hmm. What do you know? So, what is Biff doing here? Well, Bill Oliver, very big sporting goods yeah, man, yeah. called him in from the West. Long distance. Uh -huh. Carte Blanche. <laughs> special deliveries. Your friends have their own private tennis court? Willie, are you still with that old friend? Um, I'm overjoyed to see how you made the grade, Bernard. Overjoyed. It's an encouraging thing to see a young man, really. Really looks. Looks very good for Biff. Very. Bernard? What is it, Willie? What, what's the secret? What secret? How, how did you, why didn't he ever catch on? Well, I, I, I wouldn't know that, Willie. You were his friend, his boyhood friend. There's something I don't understand about it. His life ended after the Evansville game. From the age of 17, nothing good ever happened. Well, he never trained himself up for anything. He did. After high school, he took many correspondence courses, radio mechanics, television, God knows what, and never made the slightest Willie, really? do, you, do you want to talk candidly? I regard you a very brilliant man, Bernard. I value your advice. Oh, the hell with the advice, Willie. You know I can never counsel you. There's just one thing I've always wanted to know. When he was supposed to graduate and the math teacher flunked him. Oh, that son of a bitch. Willie, really? Willie, really, all he had to do was go to summer school and make the subject up. That's right. That's right. Well, did you tell him to go? Me? I ordered him to go. Well, why didn't he go? Why? Why, Bernard? That's the question that's been trailing me like a ghost for the last 15 years. He flunked the subject and laid down and died like a hammer hit him. Oh, take it easy, kid. Let me talk to you. I got nobody to talk to, Bernard. Bernard, was it my fault? Well, I see. It keeps going around in my mind. Maybe I did something to him. I got nothing to... I got nothing to give him, you see. Willie, really, really, don't don't take it so hard. Why did he lay down? What is the story there? You were his friend. Willie. Man, I, I remember it. It was June. Now grades came out and he just flunked math. That and, son of a bitch. Right, Willie. Biff was ready to enroll in summer school. He was? Yes. But he was beaten up by it all. But but then, Willie. He disappeared from the block for almost a month, and I, I got the idea. Willie, did he ever come up to New England to see you? Will Willie? Yeah, he came to Boston. What about it? Well, it's it's just that when he came back, I, I will never forget this. It always mystifies me. Because I, I thought so well of Biff. He'd always taken advantage of me, but I, I loved him, really, you know? I, I <laughs> and he came back after that month and took his sneakers. Remember those sneakers that had the University of Virginia printed on them? He took those sneakers and he just, he, he took them down to the furnace and he burned them. And we had a fist fight. It lasted at least a half an hour, just the two of us down there punching each other and, and crying right through it. But I, I've often thought of how strange it was that that I knew right then that he had given up on his life and what happened in Boston Willie what I just bring it up because you asked me nothing what do you mean what happened what's that got to do with me well, don't, what's that got to do with Willie anything? don't get sore about it what are you trying to do blame it on me if a boy lays down is that my now fault? Willie don't get all well don't don't talk to me about that that don't talk to me that way. What does that mean? What happened? Hey, you're gonna miss your train. All right, all right. Thank you, Pop. Goodbye, Willie. Uh, uh, you know, if if at first you don't succeed, then you. Yeah, I believe in that. Well, Willie, it's better sometimes for a man to just walk away. Walk away. That's right.
But if I, but what if I can't walk away? Um, guess that's when it gets tough. Goodbye, Willie.